What's going on folks, Hobo Handliner here. So I've been off the YouTube platform for almost two weeks now. I was uh, getting married, like I mentioned in some of my past videos. Um, but I'm back out here today to fire things back up. Um, it's a very cold, windy fall day, which kind of limits what I can do. So I did decide to hit this dock again because jigging or casting and retrieving off this dock shouldn't be affected too bad by the wind. Um, obviously I can't really do any type of float fishing because the water is just so chopped up, it's so windy. It's gonna be hard to cast, stuff like that. So went to Walmart this morning, picked up a new bait to try. Uh, and I just wanna see if there's any crappies left or if uh, the water's gotten too cold and they've pushed a little deeper. We're gonna just kind of experiment, hopefully get on a bite today. So yeah, I'll see you guys out there after the intro and show you that new lure. See you in a second. All right, guys, we're out here on the dock. Here's that new uh, lure, that bait. It's the Arky, I don't know why it's called Sexy Tail, but it's the Arky Sexy Tail Shad in bluegrass color. Now I've got this rigged up with a 132nd ounce jig head, which is really good for crappie fishing. And I got it tied with a loop knot. See that tail there? That should give us some good action. And that loop knot's gonna give it uh, a good action on the fall and when I'm uh, swimming it around under the surface. So yeah, eight pound line on the daggerfish handreel. Arky, sexy tail shad. Let's see what she can do. All right guys, first fish. There are definitely a lot of crappies still schooled up down there, so that's good news. Um, getting a ton of bites. Um, lost a couple. They're just barely nipping at it like crappie usually do, but there's the first fish. That's good news. Let's keep going. Hopefully we get something bigger. And uh, I even brought my stringer in case I get a couple keeper size ones. We'll see how it goes. But so far so good. Fish number two, he choked it a little better. I also slightly bent out that hook so it's easier to get a hook set while I'm jigging. There's fish number two, that's six, six and a half inches. I believe that's our first keeper size of the day. Not bad. Third fish in. Let's go ahead and double check them with my uh, my ruler on the multi tool. Well, he's close. Eight and a half. Not quite nine. Definitely gonna play it safe and let him go. But way bigger than those first two. Nice healthy fish. You know, we'll even snap a picture of this guy. That's a nice fish. I like that. First decent fish of the day. Let's let him go. Right on.
catfish number four. I can tell you guys, I can definitely see some bigger crappie down there swiping at it. I'm just trying to get one. I saw one that was probably close to 11 inches, but here's a good, uh, here's a good seven, seven and a half inch one. Nice fish. Let's try to get one of those big ones. Something pretty awesome just happened. First off, nice size crappie there. Might be a keeper. But I hooked him, right? And as he was on the line, a huge bass just came up and swiped at him. Probably like a five pound bass. So that was pretty cool. But we're gonna get a measurement on this guy and uh, see if he's a keeper. I'm thinking he might barely be nine. Uh, but definitely a little bit bigger than the average size here. Yeah, he's like right at nine, so we're gonna go ahead and let him go. Nice fish though. And very cool chase that that bass gave him. Just smacked the surface trying to gulp him down. Good fish there. You know what, let's get a picture of him. All right guys, we got our picture. Let's let this nice fish go. One more look at him, good fish. Well guys, I've definitely figured out the technique for today. Slow swimming movement, very slow. Kind of like Richard G in the fishing machine always says, just work it really, really slow. Right now, that's what they're going for. I'm casting and just very slowly retrieving after it sinks for about five seconds. Tells me they're six to eight feet deep and I'm just moving it real slow. So it's just barely, barely swimming through the water and that's when they're striking it. So I think I've got it figured out. Let's see uh, if we can get any that are a little bit bigger. Another one pushing that keeper size, guys. The average in this video is definitely gonna be way higher than all my ones I've done this fall. Um, I haven't had one under seven, I don't think. And usually I'm pulling five, six, seven inches, 90% of the time out of this spot. So I don't know if they've just been feeding and growing that fast or if I'm just getting bigger ones today. But we're definitely onto some fish, which I'm happy about. Nice one there, close to eight, maybe eight and a half. Good fish. This one ain't as long, but he is thick for his length. Thick crappie. Like I said, working that lure real slow. It's definitely what these fish are chasing right now. Just a slow moving minnow. It's going good. I can see these guys just swarming it. Another eight incher there. Good, fat, healthy crappie. At least an inch thick. Nice fish. Another nice fish pushing that keeper size for sure. He probably is about nine inches, but until I get a jumbo, I'm not really gonna keep any of these. 
you still don't get much meat off of a nine inch crappie, but another beautiful fish. I was still counting down to five in my head when this guy had it in his mouth because as soon as I started retrieving it, I felt pressure. That's crazy. So it literally, he just he just gulped it down on the on the fall. Nice, a nice slow moving dying minnow. That's what they're trying to get. Watched him come up and literally gulp it down. That was cool. There's our second species of the day, nice bluegill. He hit it so violently and hard that I thought it was like a 12 inch crappie. But just a fat female bluegill here. Let's see if I can get her to open her mouth. There we go. About five and a half inch bluegill. Here's one of the bigger ones of the day. He's about nine and a half inches. Nice fish. Let's get a photo of him too. Nice fat crappie there. I just lost like a 10 inch one and then there's an 8 incher right behind him. Too bad I couldn't land the bigger one but hey they are thumping it just chasing this thing dozens of them. Here's another nice one this guy is really really thick for his length. Very thick fish. Nice.
That's one of the bigger ones of the day. I caught probably 20 more before I showed you guys this one, but they were all that seven, eight inch range. I just don't want to waste y'all's time. But that's a good fish. We're going to get a picture of him for sure. Yeah, another look at him. Good fish there. Nice. Okay. <laughs> right on, just got our first slab. Slab crappie. Yes. That's a big crappie. Let's get some pictures and I'll show you guys more close up. Not bad, about 10 and a half inches, great fish there. You know what, I'm gonna grab another photo because this, this is a good view right here, so give me a second. Great fish there. Biggest fish I have ever caught off of uh, this pier. Really happy with him, nice and thick on that brand new bait. Let's let him go. I've decided not to keep any today, but he was definitely a keeper size. That gets me, uh, it gets my heart going, gets everything pumping. Let's see if we can get some more like him. Oh, my camera's almost dead. All right, guys, we're gonna get you one more fish after this one, and then we'll wrap this show up. I got about. 15% battery left. Let's see if we can get one more. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up the video with this one. Another uh, eight incher. I think I caught about half a dozen keeper size crappie, but that one, that one slab was definitely the highlight of the day. So here's that setup again. 130 seconds ounce jig head. That Arky, or Acme, Arky, yeah, Arky lure. The shad in that blue and green color. Pretty good memo, minnow uh, replicant. Sorry, I'm starting to get a little cold, so my speech is going downhill. But yeah, loop knot gives it lots of play, and the crappie are still out here, even at the end of October, which I am very happy about. Um, and actually, the, all these crappie on average were way bigger than what I've been catching for the past month. So that's a good sign. They're still here, they're still biting. I see lots of golden shiners up on the surface still, so. Yeah, good day. Even though it's about 45 degrees, everything's still active. The water's still warmer than the air. So yeah, had a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, hope you uh, stuck around till, till you saw that um, the big slab. That was definitely the highlight. I think I'll use him for the thumbnail. And uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. It's good to be back out here catching fish. I'll be um, fishing for trout here soon. They stock my local lake in a couple days, so I'm getting pretty excited about that. So, until next time, guys, I'm the Hobo Handliner. Appreciate you watching. Signing off.